that was really high pitched. Hi guys, how y'all doing? Um, I'm here today with an exciting review video. Okay, I've never done these kinds of videos before, like a full in-depth lengthy one. So I'm really excited, hope you are too. Um, I've been seeing these flawlessly radiating skin in, ab in about seven days. And um, so I went and got me a Pond's night cream and a day cream. Okay. So I reviewed both these creams for seven days, morning and night. And if you want to see what happened, stay tuned.
still loads of it left. So I'm going to go on for more than like the seven days. I'm going to take it for a month or so. And I found that the day cream um, for normal to oily skin actually worked. Like it, my skin was way less oilier than what it would have been without the cream. So I did a good job on holding up for oiliness. Okay. Um, this cream is very fluffy. It's like whipped cream. It smells more like a perfumey type cream. Um, it's obviously fragranced and it has this like pink tone to it as opposed to the night cream, which is more creamy and voluptuous. Like um, this is more like a, a milky cream and it's curly white and I guess this has like I don't know anyways it doesn't have as much fragrance as the daytime cream did but anyways they both applied on really well um, no stickiness no tacky heavy feeling um, so that was great what I found with the normal to oily skin one is that it it had a little cast kind of thing but I guess that's just the SPF um, so you, you shouldn't apply too much of it or else you have that white cast on your face but it was good um, I am gonna show you the before and after pics and a comparison but I think it worked okay. My skin after the seven days was visibly radiating more than what it was on day one. Now I can't completely say that it's attributed to the cream because I did um, drink a lot more water and I was really good this week. So maybe it's just part the cream and then partly my diet, but either way, um, I can't say. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Okay, I wanted to say something else and now I forgot. Um, conclusion. The daytime cream, good for oiliness. I got no extra um, oiliness on my T-zone. It's great to wear as a moisturizer under your makeup if you wear a foundation. Um, smells great, has a good fragrance. It's not sticky. It applies on smoothly and you don't need a ton like literally one dab doop, doop, doop. you'll see you saw how I applied it in my um, everyday videos so literally like a little tiny dab was enough so would I recommend this yay ding 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 and then for the night cream this was much creamier much smoother the fragrance here is like um, a beauty soap while the other one is like an actual perfume so they both smell great ding 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 um, there's still tons of the, tons of the things so it is kind of expensive but you do get quite a lot of the product because you only need like a little dab even of this one at night um, I'm sure it's gonna last me more than a month so that's great and um, would I recommend it? Yes. <laughs> would I recommend, that was awkward. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. Did I enjoy using it? Yes. Will I continue? Yes. And did I see results? Yes. Thanks guys.